Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain an action, drama, and thriller film called Landmine Goes Click. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. American tourists Alicia, Daniel, and Chris are hiking up a mountain in Georgia. They reach the summit, so Daniel asks Chris to marry him and Alicia. Chris doesn't want to, but does it anyway. He's saying his lines, but suddenly stops before finishing it, saying what they're doing is stupid. Chris gets his bag and walks away. Later, the three gather around the campfire. Daniel asks Chris what is bothering him, but Chris shrugs him off. Daniel makes it clear that despite him and Alicia getting married, Chris will always be a part of their plans. Chris feels better and the three seal it with a drink. Daniel is drunk, so Alicia escorts him toward their tent. They start making love and Chris puts out their bonfire. The next day, Chris wakes up and sees a man rummaging through their things. Then, he approaches the man and confronts him. The man keeps saying something, but Chris continues pushing him down. Daniel and Alicia arrive, clearing the air. Alicia tells Chris that the man is Devi, and he was helping get her camera so she didn't have to climb back up. Chris apologizes, and Devi forgives him. Devi takes the camera from Alicia's bag and says he'll take a picture of them. So, the three accept and pose for a photo. Devi keeps telling them to move for a better angle. Suddenly, he zooms in at Chris's foot and tells them not to move. Devi says Chris is standing on a landmine. Daniel inspects the ground and sees the bomb. Chris starts panicking, so Daniel tries to calm him down. Devi says Chris can't move an inch or the landmine will explode. Devi says he will get help, but it will take around 4 hours for him to reach the highway. Daniel tells Alicia to go behind the rock while he stays with Chris. Daniel assures his best friend that help will come and they'll attend his wedding together. He then goes to Alicia and his phone suddenly rings. Alicia celebrates as it means they have phone reception, so the two go to a higher spot to get a better signal. Daniel makes a call asking for help. Then, he hangs up and tells Alicia the rescuers didn't want to save cheaters. Alicia is confused, and Daniel repeats what he says. Daniel walks away, saying he knows she slept with Chris. Chris feels embarrassed and tells Alicia that he had told Daniel everything. Alicia sobs and apologizes to her fiancé, but Daniel reveals that his phone never had reception, saying he faked the whole thing. He takes a shovel from behind a tree and tells Alicia to dig a trench for Chris to jump into. Chris realizes that Daniel had planned the whole thing, which he confirms. Chris keeps apologizing, but Daniel removes the landmine's pin and throws it into the woods. Daniel leaves and goes to Devi, who conspired with him to enact his plan. Alicia retrieves the pin that Daniel threw and attempts to put it back in the landmine. However, after successfully doing it, she is unsure if the bomb has been detonated. Chris decides to play it safe and stay still. Alicia grabs the shovel and decides to dig. Meanwhile, a man named Elia peeks at them behind a rock. Chris and Alicia notice him, so they yell for help. A dog runs toward them, making Elia follow. Alicia keeps the dog away from Chris, but Elia points a gun at them. Alicia and Chris raise their hands and explain the situation, so Ilya examines Chris and finds out they're telling the truth. Ilya takes off his bag, asking how he can help. Alicia says they must dig a trench so Chris can jump in it. Ilya grabs Alicia's arm and asks her how they got into their situation. Alicia tells him that her fiancé set them up because she slept with Chris. Ilya smiles and calls her a cheater. Chris angrily tells him to watch his words, which makes Ilya want to leave. Ilya says he wants to help, but Chris makes him feel unwelcome. He asks if they want his assistance, and Alicia says they do. Chris tells him he can have anything, so Ilya rummages through their bags and takes Alicia's underwear. He starts sniffing it and asks if he can have anything he wants as long as he helps. Alicia says yes, so Ilya approaches her, saying he wants the underwear she's wearing. Chris stops him and offers his money and his credit card, but Ilya just grabs and drops them, saying he wants Alicia's undergarment. Without any choice, Alicia accepts and heads to her tent to take off her underwear, but Ilya stops her, saying he wants her to remove it in front of him. Chris intervenes, saying his friends are coming to the rescue, but Ilya doesn't believe Chris and threatens to push him. Alicia stops him and gives in to Ilya's wishes, taking off her shorts before removing her underwear. Then, Alicia gives her underwear to Ilya, who makes his dog play fetch with it. Ilya starts digging when someone calls him from his radio. He picks it up and answers, and Alicia and Chris keep asking him if they can borrow his radio to call for help. Ilya asks what he'll get in return if he lets them use his radio. Alicia gets frustrated, but Ilya still repeats his question. Alicia asks him nicely if he can call for help, making Ilya smile and hug her. Before calling for help, he says he wants Alicia to do something first. He throws the underwear and tells her to fetch it like a dog. Alicia refuses and chooses to dig on her own, only to realize the difficulty of what she is doing. So, Alicia decides to do what Ilya wants and fetches the underwear. As she gives it to Ilya, he tells her she didn't fetch it like a dog. Ilya throws the undergarment again. Alicia then crawls to retrieve the underwear to give it to Ilya. 
but he says she did it wrong again, saying dogs don't use their arms. So Ilya throws the underwear one last time, and when Alicia crawls to get it, she grabs it with her mouth this time. She gives it to Ilya, and in return, he gives her the radio. Alicia calls for help, but the person on the other line can't understand English. She asks Ilya to translate for her, but he tells her she'll have to take her clothes off if he does. Exasperated, Alicia refuses and starts to dig again. After a while, the person on the radio talks again. Ilya grabs it and tells Alicia his friend, Sergi, is asking if he's alright. He says terrible things will happen if Sergi thinks he is in trouble. Alicia takes the radio and tells Sergi that his friend is fine while Ilya is hounding her, but Sergi can't understand her. Ilya repeats his offer, saying he will translate, but Alicia has to take off a piece of her clothing every time he does. Alicia accepts, so Ilya takes the radio and tells Sergi he is fine before Alicia takes off her jacket. Then, Sergi asks Ilya who is with him. Alicia instructs him to tell Sergi that he had met tourists and the radio's battery is dying. Ilya obliges and tells Sergi, making Alicia take off her top. After that, she tells Ilya to leave as she won't be playing his game anymore. Ilya leaves but comes back when Sergi asks if he wants soup. He rushes to Alicia and answers Sergi. Ilya tells her to continue removing her clothes since they have a deal, but Alicia refuses, making Ilya mad and causing him to point his gun at her. Chris insults Ilya's mother, making him point the gun at him. Chris then tells Alicia to run while Ilya is distracted. However, Ilya sees this, so he makes his dog chase after Alicia and follows them shortly. Chris makes a hook, connects it to the chain attached to the pin, and desperately tries to get Ilya's gun as he hears Alicia screaming in the distance. He finally gets the gun, but Ilya returns with Alicia in his grasp. Chris threatens to shoot Ilya, but he uses Alicia as a shield. Ilya threatens Alicia with a knife and keeps taunting Chris to shoot him. Chris can't pull the trigger, so Ilya makes him call Alicia a cheater as he cuts her cheek, or he'd kill her. Chris obliges, calling Alicia a cheater while sobbing. Ilya keeps panting and says cheaters need to be punished. Then, he drags Alicia behind a rock and taunts her first before making her turn around. He proceeds to have his way with her while Chris watches helplessly. Sadly, Alicia can only scream and cry as Ilya violates her. As Ilya finishes, Alicia grabs his knife and tries attacking the guy. Chris yells at Alicia, telling her to run to him. But Ilya's dog runs toward Chris and shoves him inside the trench, making the gun go off by accident. Unfortunately, the bullet hits Alicia while Chris loses consciousness. When Chris wakes up, he feels dazed. He hears Ilya telling him that landmine is fake and that a real landmine will explode the moment it's stepped on. Ilya leaves and Chris sees Alicia lying beside him with a fatal wound on her neck. He desperately cries for help but nobody comes. Sometime later, Chris arrives at a local's house. A woman and her daughter come out and he asks if they have a map. He tells them he's lost so a map will greatly help. The girl says she can print a map on her computer, much to Chris's delight. Chris goes around the house and up the stairs, where he is greeted by the girl and her mother, who introduce themselves as Lika and Tanya. Meanwhile, Ilya is tending to his bees on the other side of the property. They invite Chris inside their home as they give him the map. Chris thanks them and asks if there's a place nearby where he can eat. Lika tells him he can have lunch with them as they have extra food. Tanya agrees, so Chris accepts their offer. Then he is escorted inside the dining room, where he sits at the table. Ilya finishes his errands and ties his dog with a chain before going inside his home and into the dining room. To his horror, he sees Chris with his wife and daughter. Tanya introduces Chris and Chris says Ilya's name. Tanya is surprised and asks if they know each other. Chris says no and tells her he sees Ilya's name on the wall. Ilya then tells him to leave but Chris refuses. Ilya insists, saying he'll take him wherever he wants. Chris smiles and thanks him but he asks if he can finish his food first before leaving. So, Tanya intervenes and apologizes for her husband's behavior. Ilya tells Chris he can eat, but they will have to leave once he finishes. Chris agrees and sits on his chair, but when he asks Ilya to join him, he refuses. Chris keeps eating and finishes his meal. After that, he asks Tanya if he can have more, but Ilya intervenes, insisting that he leave. Tanya tells Chris that she thinks it's better if he goes now. Chris obliges and grabs his backpack, thanking them for the meal before leaving with Ilya. As they go, Ilya tells Chris to meet him somewhere in 15 minutes. He reminds Chris not to include his family in their dispute, but Chris only smiles and walks away. Ilya watches as Chris heads toward the highway and into his car. As Chris leaves his sight, Ilya rushes to his dog and removes its chains. The family sits at the dining table as Ilya tries to eat his food. Then he walks out and heads to the living room. Ilya keeps pacing and decides to call the police, only to change his mind. While sitting on a chair, he hears his dog barking at something. The barking suddenly stops, which alarms Ilya. So he goes to the porch and starts calling for his dog. When the dog doesn't come, he goes down the steps and searches for it. Meanwhile, Chris returns and kicks on their door, saying there was an emergency. Lika looks through the window and opens the door. 
Chris enters the house, carrying their bloody dog, and tells them it got run over by a car on the highway. At the same time, Elia sees a trail of blood on the ground. He panics and rushes back to his house, screaming. As he goes inside, Elia sees his dog and Chris. He gets furious and goes to get his rifle, but to his surprise, his bullets are missing. Chris approaches him, so Ilya points his gun at him and threatens to kill him. But Chris doesn't budge and dares him to shoot. Also, Chris smiles and tells Ilya he knows his gun is not loaded. Then, he pulls out his gun and shoots Ilya on both kneecaps. Tanya hears the commotion and sees her husband on the ground. She tells Chris they'll do anything if he puts the gun away. So, Chris obliges and puts his gun down. He tells Tanya to get Ilya inside and for Lika to help her mother. They put Ilya on a sofa and Chris tells Tanya to stand in the corner. He also orders Lika to tie Tanya by her hands and feet. Tanya offers him money, but Chris says he is not interested. Lika hesitates to tie her mother, so Chris fires at their mirror to threaten her. Sadly, Lika sobs as she ties her mother up. Chris shows Ilya underwear and asks him who it belongs to. Lika says it's hers, while Ilya keeps begging Chris to forgive him, saying he only did that to Alicia because he was drunk. Chris then smiles and grabs a bottle of alcohol. He starts drinking and makes Tanya and Lika drink with him by threatening them. Chris also goes toward Ilya and pours liquor on his wounds, making him scream in pain. Unsatisfied, Chris grabs Lika and starts taking off her underwear. Then, he throws it and orders Lika to bring it to him like a dog. With no other choice, Lika crawls to it and hands it to Chris. However, he tells her dogs don't have hands. Chris throws the underwear again and makes Lika grab it with her mouth. When she gives it to him, Chris goes to Ilya and shoves it inside his mouth, making him taste it. Chris grabs Lika and points a gun at her head. He tells them how he dragged Alicia while searching for help until she died. Chris pushes Lika down and tells Tanya he found Ilya's wallet in the mountains. Chris then grabs Lika again and starts rubbing his gun on her chest in front of Ilya. After that, Chris tells them they are going to play a game. Chris takes Lika and says they are going to play roulette. He removes all the bullets from his revolver and leaves one. Chris says he will spin the cylinder and if Lika gets lucky with an empty chamber, she will take off a piece of her clothing. He also tells her she wins if she survives and has nothing else to take off. Chris removes the table and chairs and places Lika in the middle. He spins the cylinder and shoots in an empty chamber, which means Lika has to take off a piece of her clothing. Ilya begs Chris to spare his daughter and focuses anger on him, but he refuses. Ilya then crawls on the floor to save his daughter, but Chris just laughs at him. Irritated, Chris keeps spinning the cylinder and demanding Lika to remove her clothes. Chris yells at Ilya, saying Lika has a 1 out of 6 chance of getting a chamber with a bullet, which is better odds than what Alicia got. Ilya keeps begging him to stop, but Chris ignores him. Lika starts taking off her clothes and Chris once again spins the cylinder. Unfortunately, the cylinder stops in a loaded chamber and he shoots Lika in the head, killing her instantly. Chris's eyes grow wide as he realizes what he did. Tanya and Ilya are in despair as their daughter dies before their eyes. Chris then backs up to a corner and sits by himself, bearing a face showing great sadness and regret. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.